Well, hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You. And today, you guys, whew, I'm telling you, I have a large cash stepping. I think I'm gonna break it down into two videos, but if my ring, oh, it's actually turning back blue. If my ring was off color, I was gonna be like, it's because I've been sitting here trying to figure out where every dollar should go. I wasn't gonna put you guys through all that. So I went ahead and budgeted it beforehand. And now we just need to do the cash stuffing of all the things. And if that sounds like something that interests you, let's get right into it. I don't think I'll need my calculator, but I am gonna keep it handy just in case some things get off, okay? So I'm gonna be using the Easy Cash Budget Weekly Planner with budgeting for budgeting with sinking funds and cash envelopes. This planner can be found down below in my Amazon storefront, which leads right into some of the income that I received that I'm gonna be stepping right now. So let's go ahead and talk about it. You guys, first of all, I should say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I wish I could sing a song about it. Thank you guys, because all of this, a lot of this comes from the support from you guys directly, and I appreciate it. I mean, the love is great, okay? Both ways, the love is great. All right, so <laughs> let's see. I decided this time I'd break down the income into countries because I do receive from my book sales money from other countries. And so thank you guys. Shout out to all the subscribers that are watching from another country and have went on to buy some of my planner books or savings challenge books and all that, okay? This income today is directly from my book sales from the month of January because it is a couple of months behind, as well as my Amazon affiliates. Every time I tell you guys, check the link down below for the things that I use and love. Trust, I'm not putting anything down there that I don't already use. So I'm usually just suggesting things that I'm using here in my video. When you guys go down below and click the link for my Amazon storefront and purchase from there, I get a small commission. And so that is also included in this cash stuffing, okay? So let's get on to the dollars and the cents. I went ahead and listed the book sales from smallest to largest. So from Australia, I received $6.47 from the month of January. Germany, I received $8.44. And these direct deposits do hit my account just like this, okay? Like these smaller ones, they hit exactly like this. Um, from the UK, I received one fifteen twelve. Shout out to the UK. And also somebody had asked me yesterday in my comments for my video yesterday, if I was gonna be starting to sell the scratch off challenges in the UK, I did open that up in my Etsy store. So if that's something you're interested in, you can head over there. And Canada was already open. So if you guys wanna purchase anything from my Etsy store, just know you now can do that. And I do ship internationally, okay? Canada's up next, 149.45. Woo woo to the Canadians that watch. Um, and then for the United States, I had $5,375.82, you guys. I mean, what, what? <laughs> how can I say thank you to uh, the US of A? How, how, how? I don't know, but all I know is I really, truly appreciate everyone's support, period. Because I know I got um, some friends out there from South Africa, and even though they haven't been able to buy a book and I'm supposed to be shipping something, you know who you are. Just know that I appreciate you guys' support regardless if you purchase anything or not. This is just like, you know, over and beyond. What is it? Over and above the type of support that I'm even asking for. So I truly, truly appreciate it. All right, so that's it for the book sales. And then the Amazon affiliates, whenever you guys click the link down below and purchase something from my storefront, I received $657.14 for the month of January. That was a huge month for me. Trust, that's not a typical month, but... I think it's because so many people were going down to my link to purchase the book. So therefore I was getting credit for that as well. So it kind of all played off each other. What? I, look, I don't, I don't even know how to say it. I've been saying it since the beginning of this video. Thank y'all. Okay. We just gonna go on from there. So now that was a total of $6,312.44. And I put a huge smiley face because look, these dollars is life changing. These dollars is changing my family. So thank you guys. All right, now I had to figure out where I was gonna put all that. I'm like, uh, this is a lot and I gotta figure it out. Um, I know I spoke about taxes and I like to take taxes out of this check because it's so large 
So it, you know, I already have so much to budget with. So taking taxes out of this check is not so bad as it is taken out of a YouTube pay or so my Etsy pay. So I don't always take taxes out of there. For this particular check though, let's go ahead and talk about everything that I'm going to do. First things first, I wanna stack up some more money in my bills binder. For medical expenses, I'm gonna put another $250. For lawn care, I'm going to put another 100 because some kind of way I got off on my whole planning of what needed to go in lawn care and I need three months worth. He charges me $80 a month, so I need another 100 for there. And AT&T, I decided to put another 300 because my last bill was $400 and I was putting 300 times three, which was $900 worth of money into that folder. But if my bills continue to be 400, I really need to be having three months ahead, which will be 400. So I'm going to be fed up by another 300. Um, taxes, I'm putting 1600 and then buffer. I told you guys, I killed the buffer before. It was, <laughs> I just kept like swipe, 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 using it for sidebar things that don't even, they weren't even necessary, you know? So, um, fast food, crazy. I mean, just craziness, things that my kids wanted. My daughter wanted something from Doll's Kill. I'm like, yeah, go ahead and use the card. Go ahead. You know, not moving the money out of the clothing fund at all. So I killed the buffer. Needless to say, I'm going to put $112.44 back into the buffer this time. And I've been putting a little bit out of my Etsy money and a little bit out of my YouTube to try to beef up what's in my checking account as a float, okay? So that totaled $2,362.44 for all the bills, and that leaves $3,950 left. Out of that, I do want to take $100 for gas. I'm not going to take any money for weekend and I'm not going to take any money for myself because I'm going to stuff the money into my sinking fund versus my little cash envelope. I don't foresee anything really quick that I need other than to get my nails done soon. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to worry about putting anything in my little cash envelope. So for right now, just a hundred into gas that left $3,850 remaining. All of the sinking funds that I'm stuffing as well as I want to put some challenge money, $2,230 towards savings challenges. So that ends up equaling $3,600 for all of the sinking funds and the challenges is $3,600. That left $250 left and I'm going to put that towards giving. And so that actually equaled out to a zero balance. All right. So that you guys wouldn't have to sit through all that. I went ahead and did a cash stuffing tracker because um, if I don't have the exact dollar amounts for all of this cash, I don't even know what would happen. You guys have seen me make so many mistakes recently. Like I need to be on point. So I was like, let me go ahead and do the tracker for, there's a huge bumblebee right outside the window. And every time it flies up to the window, I think it can get in, but I know it can't because the window's closed. So if I'm hesitating, it's because I'm seeing this gargantuous bumblebee. Okay. I digress. Let's go through it for all the sinking funds. I put them here as well as the cash envelope and the giving. And then I totaled across how many bills I needed for each denomination. If you haven't seen one of my budget videos, I'll put my last video link up above. Um, it'll be the eye on the sky. And that way you guys can check and see how I actually plan out the budget, plan out the cash stuffing tracker if you need help with that, okay? Um, and then what I do is add all the columns down. As you can see, I've had a couple of chicken scratches because I forgot giving all the way through and through. So I needed to get 40 100s, 650s, 1120s, 410s, and eight fives, which is a total of $4,600. And y'all already went to the bank, got the money. And let's do this, right? All right, here's the mula, the dinero. It's right here. Dinero. Is that how you say Dinero. Yeah, dinero. Um, it's right here. Hey. All right, so let me count it up. It should be $4,600. And let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. Them last hundreds right here were sticking. I counted it earlier when I left the bank. Them suckers were sticking. Okay, anyway, 51, 52, 53, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 4,600. 4,600 dollars to be cash theft. Now, what I am going to do is go ahead and remove the 2,233 dollars for challenges and bring that to you guys in a separate video. Because as it is, 
I need to stuff all these sinking funds as well as a cash envelope and some of my bills binder. I just feel like I probably need to separate the savings challenges with all that coloring. That can be a long video in and of itself. So I'll bring that to you guys tomorrow. But let me remove what I need for the challenges and put that to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60. And then 10, 20, 30, 40. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Yeah, all this goes in savings challenges. So let me just make sure this is right. Sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20, 40, 60, 80, 21, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 22, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Why do I have an extra $10? Oh, because two of these fives do belong in this stuffing. All right. So look, I'm so glad I, ca I counted. So this is 2230. I'm going to be doing a cash stuffing for savings challenges with this money. So I'm going to put this money to the side and then go ahead and set up to start our sinking funds cash envelopes and bills binder stuffing for today, okay? All right, I think we have everything in frame. I hope you guys can see the cash stuffing tracker I need. You already know I can get off track. And we have our bills binder here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the bills. Since they're at the top of the tracker, I have $250 from medical. Where's medical? Let's see. Right now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 50, 70, 90, 710, 730, 740. Is that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 650, 670, 690, 710. 7.30, 7.40. Yeah, 7.40. Okay, so I'm going to add 250. For some reason, I thought I had 7.50, but I don't. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to add 250, which is going to be two one hundredths and a $50 bill. And let's go and put that in there. All right, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 59, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. 990. I wish I had a thousand, but that's okay. I'm going to get another $10 bill in here and we're going to do it on the, on the bill exchange, which is coming up very shortly. I will clear that out. All right. So that's medical. And then lawn, I wanted to put a hundred. Let me straighten this out. Lawn should have 140, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140. Yeah. And I'm going to put a hundred dollar bill. So now it'll have one, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 240. 240 because it's $80 per month. So 80 times three is 240. Okay, that one's good. We're good with medical right now. AT&T is the last one that I need to do in this binder. Um, I want to have $400 a month, so it should have $1,200 in here. Right now, it should be $900. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 58, 59. That's right. And then I need to add $300. 1, 2, 3. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 50, 11, 50, 12. So $1,200 total, which is 400 times 3 for AT&T. All right, I feel good about that. And that's it for the bills binder. So now I need to move on to the sinking funds. Let me get that binder. We have everything all set up. And can you believe that I forgot to take the $50 that was for the circus back to the bank when I went to the bank this time? I didn't, I just, it just totally slipped my mind. All right, instead of doing the scratch off challenges for today, I am just going to stuff $100 into each kid account. The scratch off challenges look like this. They're front and back challenges. So there's one on the back for 75, one on the front for 200. I've been scratching across here and you know making a surprise um, revelation as to how much is gonna be put inside my kids' accounts. But for, day, for today, I think I'm just gonna put a flat $100 into each of them. 
They happen to be even at this point. So yeah, $100 will bring them both up to $775. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, 20, 40, 60, 75, 675. And I'm gonna add 100. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 20, 40, 60, 75. 775 for Janae. And I do like the scratch off challenge, but I just feel like I have a little bit extra to put in there. And um, if I, you know, scratch, they might only get like yesterday, $20, you know? <laughs> so I think I should put more than that. And in the front of this one, I have a manifestation bill and I keep it here so that I'm reminded of the prayers that I have had in regards to my financial journey. All right, Jace, the same thing. I started scratching his along the bottom. He has the double-sided card as well. If you guys are interested in these scratch-off cards, they're available on my Etsy storefront. Um, in my Etsy store, rather. Etsy storefront. In my Etsy store, they're available. And you could just click the link in the description, and it'll take you there so you could purchase those. All right, so for Jace, he has $675, and we're also going to add $100, which will be $775. Let me put, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 56. 20, 40, 60, 70, wait a minute, wait a minute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 56, 20, 40, 50, 60, 75. Yeah, that's right, 675. And add 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 57, 20, 40, 50, 60, 75. So 775 for Mr. Jace. And let me pull this over here a little closer. All right, so that's his. Next is mine, and I want $100 as well. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 54, 55, 520, 45, 50, and I'm adding an extra $100, so I should be at 650, 1, 2, 3, 4, 55, 56, 20, 40, 50, 650. And thank you guys so much for being understanding about my some of my financial anxieties. A lot of you guys spoke about yours and things that you're anxious about on your financial journey. And it helped me to feel not so alone, you know? Because I do think a lot of those beliefs come from our childhood of lack or, you know, things like that. Um, and so, yeah, it was really good to read you guys' stories as well and to know that we just like have to take one step at a time to get past our anxieties about money, okay? Car, I for car, I'm supposed to put 150. Make sure it's right which would bring me to a total of 1,400. Oh, Nelly. 1,000, one, two, 250, so 1250 so far, and I'm gonna put a 100 and a $50 bill. And that'll be 1,000 in the bank, one, two, three, 54. So 1,400. And I didn't decide to take her to the shop yet, but I am very shortly, so we'll see what they say. Hopefully it's not too much of an expensive repair. And let's see, household is next. Household is gonna get $50 and it has 450. So when I add another 50, that should make it 500. Let's just make sure, one, two, three, 50, 70, 90, 410, 430, 450. And I'm adding a $50 bill so I can stop counting all weird. And that's one, two, three, 54. 20, 40, 60, 85. All right. Yeah. I think I'm going to do a bill swap soon and put mainly all large bills, take out what I can, things like that. Um, because I said at the end of the month, I wanted to use the sinking fund tracker and count up my whole binder. So I am going to be doing that in that same video. All right. Next is birthday and birthday is going to be getting $50 as well. My daughter's birthday is coming soon. Right now it should have 450, one, two, three, four, 420, 40, 450. And yeah, we'll add a $50 bill. And now it has one, two, three, four, 450, 70, 95. All right, so add a $50 to birthday and that's 500. That ought to be plenty for what she's talking about. But she wants some Doc Martin boots. Outside of her hair being braided, she wants some Doc Martin boots and they're like $130, which is not bad. Medical, this is for like copays type of medical and this one I'm gonna be putting 25. It should have 270, that's one, two, 250, 270. And I'm gonna add 25. And now I have one, two, 250, 270, 290, 295. 
Let's do 25, 295. And I think I want to add like small amounts. Just keep going in case, you know, some medical happens and I need some copay. Because um, hospitalization, I don't get that for free any longer. So I will have to pay 250 if something happened. Um, and I just have 295 in there, you know? Clothing, um, let's see. Clothing is supposed to get 125 and it has 400. And that'll be 525. And I feel like I'm going to be using this sooner than later because we're going to be heading on vacation soon. So there's one, two, three, 354. And we're going to add 125. That'll be one, two, three, four, four fifty five, five twenty five. And that's clothing. My daughter, she's been buying a lot of stuff, so she probably doesn't need anything, but me and my son, we do need to get some things before we head out. Boss, I'm gonna be adding a hundred dollars. And I've not been using this so much anymore because I did set up my Etsy finally to um, be able to do printing. I bought a little mini printer. Uh, what is it called? A thermal printer. Yeah, I bought one of those so I can print labels off because I was handwriting everything in the beginning and you guys started like pumping sales through that Etsy and I'm like, okay, no, I need that. So I used some of my fetch rewards points, ironically, and um, bought, the, bought the thermal printer from Amazon. So it works wonderfully. If you guys need a review on that, I can show you guys how I use it, how I set it up, but it's like so simple. I swear that video would probably be three minutes long. It is the best purchase I've ever made. And I did have a lot of like back and forth anxiety over which one I should pick. You know, should I get this one? Should I get that? I finally just went with it. I watched one girl's video about how easy this particular brand was and I just went with it. And it was less than 200 and um, yeah, it's just been working really well. So my shipping costs, I print those directly out of the Etsy and print the labels directly to the printer. So I really don't, before I was like going to the post office myself and paying for postage in line and I couldn't calculate it. Etsy calculates it for me and everything. <sighs> Y'all, it's the truth. Okay, so I should have $400, one, two, three, four. So the only thing I really need to use Boss for is if I'm creating new products, which I might be soon, as well as um, whenever I need more supplies for my Etsy store. But I took $60 out of my Etsy income in order to get some more supplies, so right now I'm good. Next is travel. Travel, I'm gonna be putting $100. And that should bring that to 1600. This is for like local small weekend travel, you know, outside of a big trip like spring break, you know? So there's 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 50, 70, 90, 500. So 1500 total. We're going to add another 100. So that'll be 1000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 50, 70, 90, 600. So 1600 in travel. That ought to get us a getaway or two. Next is Gingy. And believe it or not, I'm putting something in this cat's envelope. I'm going to put $20 and that'll bring her to $290. So there's one, two, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70. And we'll put a $20 bill. Oh, Ging. You guys told me it was normal for her to tear up the cat house. So yeah, I'm going to have to get her another cat house. So that's one, two, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 290. My daughter messed around and put a little bit of catnip on it. And that cat, she already had had some to get used to the um, scratching post. But once we put some more on there later, like a month later, she acted like she was going to lose her mind. Um, and maybe she was <laughs> because I don't know what catnip does to them, but she was super happy about it. All right. So next is beauty. Beauty, I'm going to be putting $50. It has $680 now, so that should be $730. Let's make sure 680s here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 50, 6, 50, 60, 70, 680. That's right. And then we're going to add another 50. And that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 56, 57, 710, 20, 730. Yay. That one's good. And I don't even know if we're going to need all that. I told you guys my daughter just wants braids, so it's no big deal. One month ahead, I never end up putting the tracker in, but I want to put another $100. It has $1,000 in the bank, so that's $1,100 for one month ahead. I figured I'll just keep putting a little bit if I have extra. I'm not putting anything into glasses because that one's pretty much stocked. I am going to put some into grocery, even though I have a grocery card and I don't need it now. 
I will one day need grocery money. And I figure if I can stuff some now, I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna put 300, one, two, three. And this one doesn't have a tracker either because I didn't cut those other trackers. They're right here next to me, but I guess I should cut them so I can put them in these last three. Giving, I'm gonna be putting $250. One, two, 250, 70, 90, 310 is in there now. And I'm gonna put 250, one, two, 250. And you guys, I have an idea for giveaways for the month of April. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed, click the notification bell so you could be aware when I start posting the video giveaways for the month of April, cause I'm gonna be doing like April showers, okay? <laughs> that's, that's what I'm calling it, April showers for the whole month of April. So um, yeah, I'll bring more information on that later. All right, so for right now, giving has one, two, three, four, 455, 520, 40, 60, 560. This is gonna be going towards some of those April shower giveaways as well as a giveaway on Facebook. My Facebook group is linked down below if you guys are interested in that. Investments has 100 and that's gonna stay the same. And I still have that $50 from the circus that I didn't take. So yeah, that's it for the sinking funds. The last thing I need to do is put some money for gas. Let me get my little key holder. All right, so this is my little key holder. I keep my keys on here. And I love this little thing. It's my fave. And the only one I need out of here is gas for a cash envelope. These little mini ones that I made. Um, I'll link the video up above, the eye in the sky, if you guys are interested in making some of these for your own little um, holder. But I'm putting $100 in gas. You know, I've been putting 80 but... And I had a little bit left over, honestly, but I thought I want to just make sure I have enough. You know what I mean? So I'm going to put $100 in there for this time and hopefully that will be plenty. Gas prices are actually going down a bit. I'm shocked. And that is it. The only other thing I need to do is the savings challenges and I will be bringing that to you guys in the next video, as well as some of the instructions for my April showers. Um, that'll be coming out very shortly also. Maybe not next video with the savings challenges, but it will be coming out before April begins, okay? So yeah, do all the things, like the video because it helps it to be suggested to other people who might need this information. Um, comment, let's come up with a comment. Let's do an emoji this time. One single emoji right here. Comment that if you made it all the way to the end of the video and that way I'll know you a real one and you here watching me stuff all this large cash stuffing, getting half of it out of the way because the other half is coming over tomorrow. Also, like I said, subscribe and hit the um, notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop the next videos. And you also could be involved in the April showers giveaways. And is that it? Let me see. Like, comment, subscribe, and share the video with someone else that you think might need this information. All right, you guys, I think that is everything for today. Thank you so much for all your support. And I will see you guys very shortly. Take care.